Hello everyone, this is Cameron Snow with Phenomics.com. In this video, I'm going to review how to use uh, the Flows tool to generate a multi-well lithophases model. So, let's get started. As you'll notice, uh, in the petrophysical interpretation package, uh, there is a option for lithophases modeling. And when you're in this uh, module, you'll see there are two options for how to uh, create faces. There's either a key well model or there is uh, what's called a file model. So the key well model essentially uses uh, just the data from the key well to, uh, to train a model using the k-means methodology. And then that's used to uh, create uh, faces clusters here, uh, such as as shown. Now, this can then be applied to all your subsequent wells. However, this does have uh, some shortcomings. Uh, for example, unless every facies is represented within your key well, uh, you may be uh, missing some components. Um, also, by using multiple wells, you're probably going to be creating a, uh, a more robust model that's maybe a bit more inclusive. So if you want to use a file model, uh, what you'll need is uh, to create a file that contains the appropriate uh, centroids and the uh, information about how to standardize the data. So uh, to do this, there's a few steps. First of all, we select file model, and this will now give us a, um, a new drop down here where we can select a, an appropriate database. But first of all, we need to create that database. So that's what we're gonna do now. And we're gonna use flows to do this. So to get started, we just say file, new flow. And I'm just gonna call this uh, AC clean lithophases. And I'm gonna say okay here. All right, and uh, I'm going to actually move this up into the appropriate folder here and I do that so that way it'll create um, it'll create that model in this folder so the, the first part here is we say new and what we'll need to do is we'll need to input some logs so we're going to start with a log input block we're going to add that and we'll select our AC clean log database uh, we do need to choose what logs we want to use. I don't want to use all of the logs in my database. I only want to use a select list here. So I'm going to click on API list. And then we can uh, choose the logs that we want. And so I happen to uh, know these, these wells. I've, I've made a list of them. So I'm going to uh, just, just uh, add these here. So I'm just uh, just pasting in the numbers, and then uh, if they are in the uh, well database, you know they will show up here, and we can click that. So now I'm choosing to build this model on these four wells. So those are the logs that we're inputting. And next thing I need to do is I need to add a CPI log calc. I'm going to say add here. And uh, we need to choose the equations that we would like to use. And so the ones that I'm going to use, I'm going to use my gamma ray final, my neutron final, my uh, rho B final curve, uh, my resistivity final, that's res D final. And uh, I'm also going to use a sonic final here. Okay, so um, just one note on these, I've chosen to use the, quote, final curves, and those are the ones that have already been uh, composited, uh, potentially normalized, and corrected for bad hole. So for the output, we're going to choose to output logs, and to make sure that um, we are taking uh, curves that have been interpreted correctly, we're going to select our CPI file, and then we're going to select the relevant database and uh, the well headers. So once we've done that, now we're ready to move to the next block, and this is going to be the Faces Fit tool. So we'll say Add here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come in and we will add those curves that we we just added. So once again, you know, we'll just uh, just add this series of of curves. 
and note that in this step you don't have to use uh, all of the curves that we made available um, in the CPI calc block but you can if you want to and then we give that a number of clusters I'm going to say six clusters for this exercise and then uh, at this point what we'll need to do is we'll need to output a points data set so we're going to say points output let me points output and we're going to say add and now we give that a name and this is going to output AC clean lithophases dot points and then we can save this and we hit the play button here once we hit that the jobs menu will pop up it'll say initializing then running and finally finished so this should only take uh, a few seconds we're only dealing with a relatively small number of wells and we can see that's already done and so now when we come back to our analysis here in the drop down menu we can select the AC clean lithos facies points and now we see that we have a newly populated lithophases model and if we inspect this model we can see that for example in most of the Alston chalk uh, our facies code is a 2 however when we do have some of these little shell stringers we can see that the facies code uh, is jumping up to 5 here in the Eagleford where it's an organic shell our facies code is a 0 in this case and in a few areas where it's a bit less organic we're getting a different facies code so it appears uh, to be working and now this model has been applied to every well and we can save these results so uh, just to review uh, we came here we selected the lithos facies module we updated the model source to be a file model then we came to our lithos facies flow where we selected our log input we chose the equations that we want to use uh, here in the config equations we selected the relevant uh, CPI file tops file and well database we then performed the facies fit using uh, the logs that we had exported from our CPI and then finally we generated uh, the appropriate points output we then came back to our petrophysical analysis and then we selected uh, that model okay I hope that was useful to you uh, the whole purpose of this is to give you a way to build more robust facies models uh, that you know take in more data than just the key well thank you